Beauty and the Beast. After the Cocteau film for Frank O'Hara. La Belle, La Belle. I remember him whispering, walking the corridor lined with candles. But I remembered it wrong. It is she who races the corridor searching for him. I didn't remember either that a rose caused it all. Her father picking a rose to fulfill her request and then being asked to pay for it with his life. How much I didn't remember about this story which I once identified with as all Cinderella stories have drawn me into their ashy jewel boxes. I remember saying breathlessly after that first viewing, but he was handsomer as the beast, and totally forgetting that her boorish wastrel suitor at home is played by the same actor, who wears the mask and only as a beast is willing to give her the key. The key is a real key, a golden one, and comes at a point in the film when the beast says something else I hadn't remembered, that there are five things which are the source of his secret, a rose, his mirror, the white horse, the key, and his glove. Oh, how could anyone resist this story? Who cares that the author himself did not love women or was, in the modern phrase, a substance abuser? He lived to be old, famous, rich, and very successful. But would anyone care about this if he had not offered the image of the man as a lion giving the golden key to his treasure house to a girl who asked, as a gift from a father's journey, only a rose, and saw herself beautiful in a mirror which showed her successful sisters as ugly. I didn't want La Bette, Ma Bette, as she runs through the corridors calling him to be the offish, real suitor, or a man at all, I censored the entire ending of the movie, not remembering she as princess and he as prince, looking cartoonish, flying off to his kingdom like crude versions of Superman and Lois. The movie ended for me when she holds the lion beast in her arms and looks into his eyes, something he's told her never to do. That's what I see as fulfillment when she sees that he is an animal, not a disguised man, an animal trying to raise himself impossibly to a human level. Not that enchantment gave him bestiality, but the opposite, that enchantment can force the beast of self to try to dress, live, love like a man, beyond his nature, and thus be more beautiful to a woman than any manly form could ever be. That's what I loved about the movie, and still moves me. Women, myself, we need to love a beast, to feel that it could transcend itself for love, for us, for beauty. I misremembered him, the beast, running through the castle calling La Belle, La Belle. Instead it was she running through the corridors calling Ma Bette, Ma Bette, loving him because he would die for her. I misremembered what actually happened, wanting him to utter these words La Belle. La Belle, this monster who loved beauty so much, he gave away the glove 
the mirror, the rose, his horse, the key. The beast is always there. It is beauty we must search for so desperately. Diane Wachowski Thank you. 